Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to my soft body jello tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at creating jello using soft body physics inside of Blender. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add a plane. So there are three ways to do this. Shift A, mesh plane, space, add plane, or add mesh plane. Either will work. Alright, we're going to scale this up 10. So hit S and then 10. All right, and now go over and middle mouse over to slide the panels over and enable collision on our plane so our soft body doesn't just fall straight through. Okay, now let's right click our cube and let's move it up some. And then go to edit mode and let's just subdivide just a few times. The more subdivisions, um, obviously the better looking the soft body simulation will be. However, note it will require way more um, computation time, the higher poly our cube is. So we're not really going to go any higher than this. All right, now we're going to hit R and I'm just going to rotate it any way you like. And I'm going to go to the modifiers panel, add modifier, and I'm going to add just a default bevel. I'm going to set it to smooth and you feel free to modify this as much as you like. All right, now go back to our physics, check soft body, remove soft body goal, enable self collision so the soft body will collide with itself. And if we were to hit Alt A right now, as you can see, our little jello cube just falls straight down and it's kind of slow. All right, I, uh, I paused it while it did that real quick. All right, as you can see, it basically just became a giant pile of gook, which is kind of not very useful. So let's up the bending stiffness to 1.5, and then we'll hit Alt-A so it'll play through again. All right, now I'm going to pause this while it bakes. As soon as it's done baking, we'll do a quick replay. All right. So let's set this back to one. As you can see, it falls straight down and then it kind of, it's it's a little bit more jello-y. right, All right, let's set, let's set it up to 2.5. All right, and the outcome of this is kind of similar as before. So let's just jump the, okay, so five seemed to be the right one. Now, depending on how many times you subdivided, uh, if you followed me, five will obviously work, assuming, yeah. Uh, but note that depending on how many subdivisions you did, you may need more or you may need less. Uh, if you did one less subdivision than I did, two is probably plenty. So let's see what happens when we hit Alt-A. Our cube's going to fall down. It bounces. All right, I'd say that looks pretty cool. So going to give our cube a random new color change. Let's go with red bright red. All right. And then we could render this out and we could upload to YouTube. I'm also going to set the shading to smooth. And let's see, I'm going to go down to right where it was jumping up. And it would seem changing the material Ah, it would seem turn it to smooth shading or the material kind of messed up the simulation a little bit. But regardless, um, that concludes this tutorial. I'm sorry the ending was kind of failed, but at least now you guys know how to create a jello soft body inside of Blender. And you also know what not to do after you've already baked it. All right. So that concludes this tutorial. If you have any questions, uh, stop by the forums or the IRC, um, both of which information for both is located in the description as well. Uh, please follow me on Twitter if you'd like to keep up to date with what I'm doing. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'm really sorry the ending was a disaster. Well, not too bad, I suppose. But And there will be many more where we'll cover more advanced uh, effects using soft body physics, like a wall dent. I have one planned. 
and we should be seeing it sometime soon. All right. Thank you.